are so many different kinds of jobs in the gaming industry, from writers to artists to sound designers. We're going to find out a little bit more about what these jobs mean and how they're done as we go on a learning excursion. Or a learn excursion. So what is a video games journalist and what does the role involve? A video game journalist, you know, some people might be reviewing video games, some people might be looking at video game culture, uh, sometimes you get to interview developers or play games a little early and then you get to tell people about those games and what makes them awesome, basically. What does a normal work day look like for you? A normal work day for me would look like getting up when it's dark, coming into the office and looking to see if there's any news that's happened overnight. You know, a lot of the studios are based out of the US, so a lot of things happen overnight while we're asleep. So I catch up on all of that. I'll write up a few stories and publish those online. And then I might contact some people to work on some bigger stories that I'm working on. I start really early because I've got kids. Hey, kids. Um, and then I come in, I look at what's happening in the world and I just go, I just throw everything that's happening at the world at everyone who writes for our sites and they do all the hard work and I just go, ah, job done. So tell me a little bit about the team you work with. Alex is really into esports, so he likes to write about video games and people playing video games that are really good at video games. And Amanda likes to write about poo and video games. This is my sister Amanda and she's a video games journalist. Amanda, what is a video games journalist? A video games journalist is someone who writes about video games. So that could be reviews, that could be something fun that they did in the game. It's like, it covers a lot of things. Thanks Amanda, see you at home. This is Alex, editor of Kotaku. Hi Alex. Hi Red. So, do you have any advice for spawnlings who want to become a games journalist? Work really hard, whether it's on your writing, learning something about games, or even just playing them. Hard work pays off. How do you find stories to write about? Yeah, it's kind of lots of different things from people I know. Sometimes people will be like, Mark, I've got a hot scoop. Something's happening down in EB Games. OK, I'm on it. That can happen, or it can be an email in my inbox. Sometimes someone from Nintendo will be like, Mark, we've got a really cool new game. You should play it right now and write about it. And I'm like, OK, I'm on it. Sometimes the stories find me. Sometimes developers will contact me and go, hey, I've made this cool game. Do you want to find out a little bit more about it? And maybe your readers will want to know. Sometimes I'm reading medical journals, trying to find studies ab about video games and the ways that they've been used to improve people's lives. At Kotaku, we write about weird stuff, not just the games, like the weird stuff that happens in games. So speed running or pro gaming, things like that, we write about anything. What's the best thing about your job and what's the worst thing? The best thing is the free video games. <laughs> the worst thing is um, probably the people who tell you you suck. If I don't like the new Zelda game, everyone's like, Ugh, that's because you're stupid and you suck. And that, you have to deal with that, so that can get a bit draining. The worst thing about my job is video games because I don't get as much time as I'd like to play them. I think a lot of people think when you're a video game journalist that that means at work all day you're playing video games, but a lot of that happens in my free time. So I don't really get as much time as I'd like to you know, gather resources in Minecraft because I'm playing something that I need to review. Do you have any advice for spawnlings who might want to become a games journalist like you? Stay in school, eat your vegetables, and work really hard. Gambari! The thing that I'd advise them to do is work out what kind of video games journalism they'd like to do. If you would like to do a podcast, that's something that is really accessible. You can do that using your phone. If you want to make videos, that's another thing again. Or you might want to write. And then my advice would be to find people that are doing the thing that you want to do and, and look at what works. You know, look at what you're drawn to that they do, but don't copy them. You need to be yourself. Do you think I have what it takes to be a video games journalist? I don't know. You're gonna have to prove it to me that you can do this. You've got until 2 p.m. this afternoon to give me 200 words on your favorite video game memory.
finish my story. Tell me what you think. <clears throat> oh. mm. This is unusable, complete trash. I'm only joking. You got the job. Well done. Yes! So that concludes our Learn Scursion about video game journalism. It's a lot harder than I thought. It's not just sitting around playing games all day. There's a lot of research and writing that goes into it, and there can be some really tricky deadlines. Oh, I don't know about you, but that's enough learning for one day. I'm going to go excursion myself to some lunch. <laughs>